This is Chuck Thaxton, the Managing Director of Data Science and Research at ARC. Let's take a look at what the air travel recovery is looking like in the U.S. as shown in ARC's data. As we've predicted, the travel recovery continues to accelerate, with leisure travel leading the way. Corporate travel still has some catching up to do. The availability of vaccines, as well as that pent-up travel demand, is really starting to show up in air travel and destinations starting to open up across the country are really starting to stimulate that demand. But let's take a look at what's happening internationally. Travel internationally has been recovering slower than domestically, but not by very much. About 5% slower than domestic recovery since the pandemic began. But that gap is starting to increase. As people are planning their trips in 2021, many more are looking to travel domestically versus traveling abroad. But the real story here is where people are traveling. Historically, Europe has gotten about 26% of U.S. international visitors, Asia about 17%, and Mexico and the Caribbean about a third. But right now, travel to Europe, Asia, and even Canada have plummeted by double-digit numbers since the pandemic began. Mexico and the Caribbean, on the other hand, have almost doubled their percentage of U.S. visitors. While those high traffic regions have always been popular, the closer to home travel is really picking up during the pandemic recovery. U.S. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, for example, are approaching or even exceeding their 2019 levels, with other countries such as Mexico and Aruba also showing strong performance. Next month, we'll take a look at average ticket price and a glimpse at what fairs are doing going into the summer and the latter part of 2021.